Hi, this is Venkatesh. Welcome back to day 2 of Selenium WebDriver training. Right. In last class, we have clearly discussed about how to download Eclipse and how to install WebDriver jar files into our Eclipse project. And today we will quickly start with our first WebDriver code. Like first sample WebDriver program. In this sample program, we will see how to open a website by using WebDriver code. Okay. Let's start with our uh, day 2 training. Right, this is our day two training material which we are going to discuss all this stuff today. And after completing this class, I'll be pasting my code completely here and I'll be sending you a mail after completing of this class, right? Okay, <laughs> to write the first Selenium web driver program, first we have to, before going that, let's start with a Selenium official documentation. We'll just go there and see some basics. Official. Website, right. This is a type in Google search Selenium official website and click this here so that you will get first link. Go to downloads. Right. After going downloads, as we are dealing with Java language, here the Java doc is here. Just click on here. Right. These are all the packages, classes and interface where all we can do automation by using these classes and interface. Now we are interested in WebDriver as we are dealing with new version of Selenium. Let's go for WebDriver. Right, let's open another website. This site is a little bit problem. here we'll just go for web driver yes this is web driver yes look at here interface web driver web driver is an interface right what is an interface first of all basic question an interface will have an abstract methods abstract methods in the sense a methods which does not have the body to implement the methods in these interface we need classes okay in only the classes can implement the methods which are present in interface. For example, WebDriver is an interface here, right? The methods of WebDriver are here clearly they described the methods of WebDriver close, find element, get, current URL, page source, everything. All these methods in the WebDriver can be implemented by using the classes. This is a, a basic definition. Let's go to our materials. Here, see here the basic definition of interface. A Java interface defines a set of methods, but that does not implement them. To implement these, we need classes, right? So what are the classes and what classes we have to use to implement the methods in this interface web driver? For this, this Selenium team provided as these classes, right? All known implementing classes. These are the classes which can implement the met methods present in this web driver. Nothing but these methods to implement to execute these methods of interface web driver we need classes and these are the classes of what selenium team provided and what are these classes android driver android web driver chrome driver even there are a lot of classes here so what class to choose to implement these methods is the other question here right so we'll start the f from the basics here right the first step you want to know is if you want to automate your website using Firefox driver, I mean using Firefox browser, then you have to choose Firefox driver class. Okay, if you want to automate using Internet Explorer, then go for Internet Explorer driver. So for every browser, you have special class here. Okay, now if you use Firefox driver to implement the all the methods of the interface, uh, automatically Firefox browser will open and will continue the automation. Okay. This is the basic thing. You just have to note these two points before writing the first line of the WebDriver code. If you, want, if you want, once again, I will explain. WebDriver is an interface. Interface is nothing but it will have the methods, right? To implement these methods, we need classes. So this Selenium team provided these classes, all known implementing classes. These classes can be used to implement methods in the WebDriver. So what class to choose is the question. 
for that if you if for in what browser you have to automate your website choose that particular class and continue you can happily automate your uh, website using that browser right so if you are clear with this let's go with the first step of webdriver code in my material i have clearly given webdriver is interface and these are the classes which we can implement right okay steps for creating class object this is the first step which we are going to write in webdriver code let's see go back here uh here i'll create one more class let's follow these steps which i provide in the material step by step so that we can easily write the first step of the code step 1 choose the browser on which you want to perform automation and select respective class to implement web driver okay i want to automate my website using firefox driver so i'll choose this firefox driver class okay that's the first step yes i have chosen firefox driver class right what is the second step here create an object for the class and assign name to it now for every class we need an object we'll create an object by using that object we will manipulate all the methods of that particular class right if you know the java basics you clearly know what is the object and what is the class so how to create an object for the class it is very simple our class is firefox driver right See, after writing your first line every you will get a red underline for this that means it it will it only will give fixes like if you move your mouse there it will say import firefox driver or open qr dot selenium you just click here it will get imported up and this error will go right this is the flexibility we can will have in eclipse right for this firefox driver class we are creating object then what is new here new is nothing but memory allocating it is an alloc it is it's allocating the memory for an object of this class right now object is created using this class so we are giving the name to that object you can give any name like uh, selenium driver any name you can give object name it's an independent it's not any keyword of which can be used in java for example as we are doing selenium let's give selenium only keyword but that doesn't mean you have to give only selenium name you can give any name to define the name of the object now let's go back create an object for the class and assign name to it yes we have created an object for the class by using new memory allocator by giving this operator an object will be created nothing but space for object will be created and we are giving name for it and the last step is now this object so object of this firefox driver class want to implement methods of web driver interface then make it as reference to web driver as you will get red line here you just move your mouse it will say change to web driver org dot open qa dot selenium click here that's all error will go that's all this is about the first step this step is common for all the web driver programs if you write any program any code using web driver this is the basic step you have to follow but only changes we'll do is if you are doing an internet explorer you will give will go back and see what is this is internet explorer driver if you want to do in google chrome go for google chrome driver safari driver android driver here it will change and object you can give anything but this is the must this is what nothing but class object is referring to web driver interface this class object is referring to parent object that's all this selenium object of firefox class is going to implement all the methods of this web driver parent parent interface as that is why we have given that this object is referring to this interface this is the first step which you have to write in any web driver code now our selenium object is ready now with this object we can use all the methods of web driver okay then let's quickly go and start with our methods so first step we have to is how to open website for that now i want to open to open website to open website using a web driver we will use get method what is get we are telling get that url get that particular url into the firefox browser 
if you give selenium dot get i'll show here clearly see load a new web page in the current browser window if you give this get inside you have to give url so that automatically that particular browser will open and url will be hit into that browser let's see practically how it is going to happen selenium dot now this is our object so all the methods will be calling using object only from now selenium dot get see you just give dot automatically all the things will come so after completing of this course you will know everything what all these functions will do let's start to in this class let's start with basic step selenium dot get I have to give url right i'll give our url software testing tutorials where we give basically training there yes selenium dot get make sure that you make this okay now see this code look at here now our object is telling go and open the firefox browser and hit this url let's run and see what this code to run here click here okay it's getting loaded Yes, see, Firefox browser is getting open, and now, yes, that URL has been hit. See here, the website got opened. Software testing tutorial dot org is getting yes, yes, or completed. See here, the website got opened. The only basic thing we have done is dot get. The function get method says that open that particular URL. That's it. from now here from now we can start our automation like clicking on this link seeing whether this text is present or not and everything that is the next thing okay but basically we have to open website right to start automation for that the method we use is get okay once again i'll give quick review of what we have seen now and we'll go to next step first of all we are decided what class i mean what browser in what browser we want to automate by based upon that we have selected we have as we are going to automate in our firefox driver i have selected firefox and next i have to create an object for that i just created using selenium and assign to that parent object web driver interface that's it this is the uh, as i told this is the common step to any web driver program if you write what you write next i am calling the basic website selenium dot get and i am giving url here it automatically opens there right next now will this will go for next step here next basic function will learn selenium dot let's see what is the basic things get title see here what is the title of that web page if i want to know if your test case is like check whether the title of the website is correct or not in manual in general will be checking okay if you want to automate that just give the selenium dot get title and give system dot out print and to print it to print it output we will give this function as we use in java right system dot out print ln so that it will print in our console this is the console this part okay this is the console part so selenium dot get title that particular i'll show you this particular website what is the title of this website we will get now if you use this function dot get title and we have to see in an output what is that so we i am giving in system dot out print ln that's all right now we will run and see this may be our test case right so we are qa testers we will be having different ways to check our website to check the title of that website or anything else so if you use get title method you will come to know what exactly is the title of that website again see that firefox browser is got open yes Okay now let's go back to our eclipse and see it's still loading yes title got printed here see here software testing tutorials online training on software testing qa online training selenium online training yes by seeing this clearly here mention that title is correct right 
by using this method we are able to get the title of that particular website right now next one next method don't note down or just just clearly listen here because I have made everything notes here what is title what all the methods and even the code after completing the code I'll paste here at the down and I will send you the mail this document just concentrate in class here first no need of writing anything I'll provide everything material so what I am saying in the class next selenium dot I want to know page source of that code right what is the source code what is the developer source code of that page for that function is selenium dot get page source so you may get doubt now what is the need of getting page source for QA testers right so in selenium uh, there will be some frames uh, which you will be which I will be teaching in advanced selenium uh, there will some of the code will be in the frames to click on that we need code we need the page source code to find where we are to click particularly that time we have to use we have to go back to page source and find that particular frame for that we'll be using page source the usage of page source you will come to in the future but now just come to know how to get the page source then you may get out what is the use of writing special function for that why can't click right click and see here view page source right I'll show you I'll give one practical example for this go to HDFC net banking you won't get page source there right click here see it is saying mouse right click disabled because some t this thing is in frames to execute this to automate this by using selenium we have to go to page source right but to go to page source it is not allowing see figure right click mouse right click is disabled then how to find page source of that particular code so in this case we'll go we'll go with this function drive selenium dot get page source it will directly get page source of this particular URL which we are opening above right now I want to see this source in the output console so I am giving a system dot out print right now I'll run again this code let's see this time we'll get title and also page source of that software testing tutorials see page got open and now let's go to out output console yes see you got <laughs> code of this website this is the code all this is the code of that website okay by using this code you can check for uh, things which you want so we are clear with now three methods basic methods how to open the website by using get method and how to get the title of that website and how to get the page source uh, next will see I want the URL of that uh, particular uh, website which is opened whether it is open to proper website or it is hacked and navigating to some other website yeah this may be our current test case right this is also our maybe our test case so by this we can check the what is our current URL just give selenium dot see everything is like this object dot method object dot method. this is what basically we follow in Java right this object is not actually you can write selenium you can use any object and use this so I want to see again in system dot print alarm. I'll give like this this time we'll see what is the current URL what we are wh in where we are working right okay let's go and website is getting open it's loading still yeah completed now let's go back to our console and see the last step this is our, the, our URL and see here this is what we have provided and finally what we have got nothing there is no navigating to other website this is direct right so this is the method used to get a current URL of our site so these are the basic functions which you have to know 